Thank you, Steph. Now at 6, the Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia. It's the eve of a major organized crime trial involving a decades-old gangland slaying. Former mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi will be in federal court tomorrow. His opening statements are set to begin in the case accusing the aging gangster of murder. A notorious Rhode Island mobster is expected to take the stand against Salemi. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here with what you need to know about this high-profile case. Tim? There are two defendants in this case, Salemi and a man named Paul Wiedek. Both are charged with murder of a witness. In 1993, Boston nightclub owner and Providence native Stephen DeSaro vanished. In 2016, his body was exhumed from behind a mill building on Branch Avenue in Providence. Months later, Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi was charged with DeSaro's murder, along with associate Paul Wiedek. Investigators say the defendants, along with Salemi's son, who has since died of natural causes, strangled DeSaro because they feared he was going to cooperate with the FBI. Set to testify, Rhode Island capo regime Robert Bobby DeLuca, his brother Joseph DeLuca, and William Ritchie, an associate of DeLuca's who owned the mill building on Branch Avenue. Investigators say in 1993, Salemi called Bobby DeLuca to coordinate the disposal of DeSaro's body. DeLuca has already pleaded guilty to charges he lied to the feds about what he knew of the murder. Jurors will visit the Branch Avenue mill building as well as Salemi's former home in Sharon, Massachusetts, where the murder allegedly took place. Salemi and Wiedek pleaded not guilty. Opening statements are set for 9.30 tomorrow morning at federal court in Boston. The trial is expected to last one month. I will be there and let you know what happens tomorrow on Eyewitness News and on WPRI.com. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.